In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can make alerts from Tiltify pop-up in your stream so you can stream for charity without any worries. My name is Tree, and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm to 2pm time on twitch.tv slash tree. The first thing you want to do is make a Tiltify campaign. Choose which charity you want to support. If you have done that, you set a date and everything like that, you can go to your charity dashboard. That's here on Tiltify, you click on your profile picture and go to dashboard. Here, for example, we see this one, a Tree for St. Jude, that I did in May. Um, and then we can see a lot of things that we can do. Uh, we can see an overview, schedule, incentives, all that kind of stuff. What I want to do now is go to streamlabs.com. We need to log in, or if you've already done that, click on dashboard. Go all the way here to the bottom to something called settings. Now we have something called integrations in the top right. Here you see Tiltify. For me, it says Humble Bundle Partners for St. Jude. This is a long time ago for me, and I haven't changed this one yet. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove this one. And now we click on link. So what it did, because we logged in to Tiltify with our Twitch account, it actually recognizes our Tiltify account now. So what we can do, it says Street for St. Jude. I'm not sure if this is the same campaign. This is the same campaign, so we would be good to go right now. But if it's not, you can go to Manage here, and you can select one of the other campaigns you've been doing. I've just been collecting money for St. Jude, guys. And then if you get the right charity, click on Save Settings. Okay, so now our Streamlabs is connected to our Tiltify account and they know each other, so they can share information. What we want to do now is we go to the alert box here under Features. Here on the right side you see Tiltify Donations. If you want to use a different bot than Streamlabs for all the other alerts, make sure to turn them off, so disable them all if you don't want to use them. If you do want to use them, make sure to set them up as well. And then go to Tiltify Donations and make sure this is enabled. Now what we can do is we can upload an image and we can upload a music. So I'm clicking on the change image and I have a lot of things in here already. If you do not have anything in here or the thing you want, click on drag and drop upload or drag and drop to upload. For me, I'm just gonna grab this one, the little girl and click on select. Then we have our music here. I'm gonna change the media and we can, we can get anything we want. Again, you can upload it here in the top left, but let's do uh, this one and select it. We've set the image and the sound. What we want to do now is we want to set this message. Now it says name. This will be the name of the person who donated. Donated amount, the amount they donated to St. Jude, because I filled that in as St. Jude. You can set this to whatever you want. I would recommend you do something with the charity name you're actually raising money for, because then people can clearly see the money didn't go to you, but to the charity. You can change anything in this sentence as long as you make sure that the name and amount are in there. Now, another thing that we need to decide is where do we want the text in comparison to the image. So the one it's on now is that the image will be underneath the text, so the text will be right up top. This one is the text underneath the image, and this one is the text next to the image. With the last one, the image gets pretty small. So if you have a cool image, I would recommend going for either this one or this one. Then we can set the alert animation. This means how does this alert pop up in your stream? Right now it's a slide in up, slide out down. So that means that if the alert will go up, it'll do this, be there and go back down. We can set this on a lot of different things, bounce in, um, we can rotate it in and fade in, fade out. I usually say just mess around with this a little bit and see what you like. Same for the uh, text animation, so when the alert pops in, after that the text is gonna make an animation, so you can have it like bounce, you can have it wave, you can also have it just be still text, that's none. Again, play around with this a little bit and see what you do like. Sound volume, if your alert is a little bit too loud, you can turn it down right here. Alert duration, see how long does your image take, how long do you want it to be displayed on the stream, um, text delay, this means that if your image pops in, do you want your text to be in later? So if you put this on one second, then your image will come and after one second the text will come. If you want this at the same time, keep it on zero. Um, enable custom HTML, keep that on disabled. Um, it's pretty hard, it's code. 
Just leave it. Donor message settings. We have this one, we have the image on top, then we have this text, and then underneath there is gonna be another text with the message that the donor put in. If you do not want this, disable this, then the alert will pop up, but you won't see the message. And you can just set the font, and you can set the font size, the thickness of the letters, and the color of the letters. And then we have font settings here. These font settings actually refer to this text. The highlighted parts are the name and the amount. So that's the highlighted color and the other things are the normal color. Again, you can set the font size and the thickness and the font. And then we have alert variations. What this can do is if you want people to have a different alert for like if they donate $10 or if they donate 20, you can do that by adding a new variation in here. You can do that with the default settings. Those are the settings that you set in general settings. Or you can do that with the current settings. Those are the settings in this Stiltify tab. And if you're done with everything, make sure to click on save. Always click on save if you're done doing something. Now we scroll back up and here we see something. Click to show widget URL. I'm not going to click that because you're not supposed to see that. But I'm going to copy it. And what we're going to do now, we're going to go to OBS. And then what we do is click on the plus here and then add browser source and call it uh, Tiltify Alerts or call it Stream Elements Alerts. If you already have alerts from Stream Elements, you don't have to do this step because you already have it in your OBS. Then we're going to delete this. Uh, I'm going to make sure that you guys see it. I'm not sure because I can't see what you see now. <laughs> and then make sure that the width is 1080p. And the height is oh, 1920. I pressed it downwards button. There we go. And then we paste the URL here, delete this, and then click on OK. Now, what we can do is go back here. And then if I click on Test Tiltify Alert, boom. Oh, it's like super far in the bottom right now. There we go. <laughs> John donated $12 to St. Jude. Yeah, I mean, what I would do is make sure to test it and then uh, just adjust it in OBS to the size you want to have it because, you know, you're not going to get it right the first time. Just click on it a couple of times and then you can see how you want it to be. You can see the animations like this as well, so that's kind of awesome. You can always make some minor tweaks in it. If you're not happy with something, you scroll down, change it and make sure to save it. If you do not press the save button, it will not be applied. So if you have changed everything and you're like, Heh, why is it not different yet? That is just because you haven't saved it. That's it. Good luck with raising money for your carry. I believe you. If you want to know more about Streamlabs, I got a ton more videos about Streamlabs. So hop into this playlist with me and I'll see you there.